So this is basically how the game starts up every single time. And they're pretty much explaining everything you most likely already know. But it's a new show, they're interacting as two people, they're trying to be entertaining. To, I, I got a laugh out of it the first time I played, but after not being able to skip it, I did get a little annoyed, but it, it's alright, I'll live with it. The salt spray here really gets in my eyes. Salted squid is a delicacy in some places. Yeah, alright. Alright, so the current ranked battle stage, Splatastic. They've got their own lingo in here, just with splat thrown around. Alright, so Jod is great- wait, Jod. Judd is great at his job, but man, he sleeps a lot. And here he's way more active at night. Alright. Uh, Judd is that cat that basically gives you your score at the end of each match. A slice of octo pie. They are really in a character. Stay fresh! Alright, so that's the thing about this game. You can see that my level is level 1. And let me go to the shop real quick. I'll actually just run around and show you everything. On the gamepad, you can actually just jump between all the different sections. You can jump between buying weapons, clothes, uh, headgear, shoes. And yes, shoes are different from clothes, but anyway, I'm just going around the main area. These are a bunch of people that also have the review copy. You can check out what level they are, what their whole setup is. And if you have Miiverse enabled, you can just go around and see who they are, what kind of stuff they've got. Let's see if we can actually recognize anybody. And like I said, not only do I have limited time, I've actually got limited stuff to show. Like, if I try going online, most likely no one's going to be on there. So, that already eliminates one thing, and really all I can show is the campaign. And unfortunately, I'm only level 1, so I also won't be able to show off much of the shops. Now, if I'm able to, I will level up to level 4 off screen, and I'll upload a few ranked maybe a few normal uh, stage clips so long as I don't run over the 30 minute time limit for clips uh, there we go there's Ghost Robo uh, a lot of you guys should know him so he's still only level 6 I think that's the level he was at when I first started and he really hasn't even leveled up so I'm gonna go ahead and give him a yeah and I just yeah his uh, comment on uh, Miiverse and I like how he has hashtag Splat God, and before I even started, instead of Super Saiyan God, I came up with Super Splat God. And then I came up on here and he just put hashtag Splat God. So, I've got Super Splat God in my hashtag. I think I win. And I came up with it before I even saw that, so hush. Uh, at least with no voice chat, no one can mock me for being so... Dot, dot, dot. Oh, bad at this game. It's our we authority. We all suck when we first start. Little pa or pay, however you say that, just says amazing game. Don't tease the octopus. Alright, well, with all that shown off, this is basically the main hub area. Wait. Dang, how are people so good at drawing on Miiverse? I don't get it. Alright, well, if you come over here, there's really nothing over here. And they got shops all over the place. And depending on where you're going, you'll actually hear music as if you're going through a town square and you're approaching a bunch of shops. And right here... When things get a little more serious, you enter the building... This is how you join for rank battles, regular battles, and actually join your friends. Unfortunately, you can't make your own lobbies with friends yet. That's going to be released in a patch in a few months. But, well, not a few months. I think it's just a 
month or so, but whatever the case. If hypothetically any of my friends had the review copy, I'd go ahead and join them. But just for the sake of trying, I'm gonna go ahead and try to join and see if anybody's online to play. If anybody's online to play, I'll get one match in and see what goes on. Now the problem here is I can actually sit here for two minutes and then nobody joins and I'm kicked out. And this is a big problem right here too. You see I'm with someone at level four and then two people at level nine. And I'm just still stuck down here on level one. Now level doesn't really matter too much. Obviously I can't buy anything right now so I do have a slight disadvantage but the default stuff is fine. It really doesn't matter. What does matter is that with so many people at a decent level, if they're level 10 or higher, there's a good chance they're not even trying to join a normal battle. They're trying to join a ranked battle. If you want to join a ranked battle, you have to be level 10 or higher. And obviously with the review copy, not so many people have it. So if you're trying to level up, it's a little difficult. And in the PDF document I was sent, there are specific times that were given to everybody. So I'll try to join during those specific times, but the only time left is on Tuesday next week. So I'll show off all the amiibo support and stuff like that and just show some clips. And then I'll try to show off ranked battle on Thursday from recording it on Tuesday. But if it doesn't happen, I'll just wait until the actual game comes out. Level up to level 10 as quick as possible that night and then get some gameplay out to you guys. I will definitely be doing battles with friends even though it's going to be a little annoying to set up. Uh, I definitely will be doing ranked battles, hopefully with friends. And I'll be posting some consistent content. I'll definitely be showing the entire campaign from beginning to end. And then on top of that, I'll try to play with you guys on live streams. And if we have any good highlights or if it's just a decent stream in general, I'll upload the whole thing to YouTube immediately afterwards. I'm not going to be streaming on YouTube every single time. I'm mostly going to be just streaming on Twitch. But if there's like an event or something or if I'm like, all right, it's. Hmm. Oh, my God. Hopefully no one stole this idea. Original the idea do not steal. Okay. I Was just thinking about okay. Okay. The game comes out next Thursday, right? Well 11 o'clock p.m. Central Time midnight on Friday yada yada yada. Anyway the first Day I I'm sorry. The first weekend is next week for the full game. Oh I'm not wasting time for this actually. I mean I've got the timer rolling, but I guess it really doesn't even matter at this point. It doesn't matter. Anyway, let me go back to what I was saying. Uh, Blue Egg 17, yes, you are hosting me. I did see the notification. Thank you very much. Love the support. You are a proud member of the Bloffy, to be sure. Okay, anyway. <sighs> the idea I just got. Starting next Saturday. You guys may be familiar with some people, like my friend PK Sparks. I used to do it. Um, my friend Soli used to do it. Mario Kart Mondays a designated day for a designated game at a designated time I'm pretty sure I already know the answer to this and if you guys don't like the pun I don't care but splatter day not Splatoon Saturday combine it splatter day a weekly series where I join online with you guys on YouTube and Twitch. Streaming for a good maybe two to three hours. And just do that every single week.
Okay, there is a delay, so I'm only just starting to see your comments. Okay. Okay. Hashtag Splatter Day. Splatter Day, Splatter Day. Oh my god, yes. I love puns. Splatter Day, do it. Splatter Day, I love it. I already heard the cringeworthy title in my head. Uh, Justin, I didn't see the notification, but thanks for the host. Really appreciate it. Crystal Comet 2. Okay, Crystal Comet, I just saw yours. Justin, I honestly didn't see yours, but I'll take your word for it because you have done it in the past. Not original, but still you must do it. Not original? You can't tell me someone else came up with Splatter Day already. No one could have come up with Splatter Day already. Come on, that's so cheesy. No one could have possibly stolen that already. Dude. Either way. Okay, how do you join? Literally, I will delete my entire friends list on my Wii U. I'll add everyone that wants to play at that specific time. And I'll let you join me at complete random. And then, like, every three or four matches, I'll bounce out, jump in, and whoever's first come, first serve. If it gets too hectic, I'll change the way things run, but that's how it'll run. Now, yeah, I'm already at the 12-minute mark, including all that waiting in the arena, which wasn't really gameplay, so... The lobby doesn't really count as gameplay, so I'm not even gonna let that... I'm not even gonna worry about that Now here's the deal. I'm level one. So I'm coming in the clothing store Jelly fresh thinking for Bleah, Fashion crime is in the progress Moldy customer is moldy. Jalonzo is in the great shock Level four is being required. You are needing more of the fresh for the shopping <laughs> I swear, Am I talking to Starfire right now? Am I talking to Starfire from Teen Titans right now? Did she turn into a squid and change her name to Jalonzo? Uh, but you can see down there, if I had a little under an extra 100 coins, or whatever the currency is, I honestly forget, I could buy that shirt on the left. I could actually buy the one right down there, the second one from the left. But... Play regular battle in lobby for the freshness. Yes, then again visiting, please. Now, for the sake of... Like, the, just the comical writing... No, also this. For the sake of the comical writing... I'll actually go ahead and check out all the shops just to see what they say. Uh, oh. Hello. Uh, I'm very sorry, but... Um, yeah, I'm sorry too, Annie. You've got a clownfish in your hair. I'm afraid we have a sort of rule here. You see... We don't sell to people who aren't, um... Fresh enough. Once you reach, say, level 4, I should be able to help you. Maybe you could visit the lobby and play some, um, regular battles? That might help you level up. So... Beat it, loser! <laughs> the freaking clownfish is the most loudspoken one in the game. That is hilarious. I'm just- I I'm sorry, I'm a sucker for good writing. Even if it's so simple. Like, everyone's got their own attitude in the game. It's awesome. Uh, Ghost Robo, you went from window shopping to just chilling by a sewer thing. What's up, buddy? Uh, sushi? There's shrimp. There's... Stuff that... Okay. There's stuff all over the windows and the sign, and this is just a shoe shop. Yo, Squiddo. What's up, Krusty Sean? Good to see you in Shrimp Kicks. Is what I would be saying if you weren't so unfresh. For reals, dude, do you even battle? 
I love this game. I freaking love this game. I'm not even playing. I'm talking to people. How many games can you say you actually enjoy going around talking to people just to hear them talk? Not many. They, they exist, but not many. You gotta have that level 4 freshness before I can help you. Sorry, them's the rules. You know how to up your level, right? Just go to the lobby and do some regular battles. You got this. I love how everyone has complete faith in me, but they're not letting me, you know, buy stuff. And they have so much faith and they're telling me what to do. Like, I could up my freshness by buying their swag. Ah, uh, but nope. Anyway, last shop. I know I went in these all in a completely random order, but... Let's see. Hello, hell... Oh my, is that truly the only weapon in your possession? Yeah... This wooden box looking... Yeah... You'll need more than that if you want to be taken seriously around here. Oh, so you're gonna sell me something, Sheldon. I'd offer to help, but I'm not sure you can handle my firepower at lowly level 1. Hey, I played the Splatoon Global Test Fire. No, I simply can't let you adopt any of my beautiful children until level 2 at the very least. Go raise your level in some regular battles, and then come see me again, yes? So, I have to wait until level 2 until I'm fresh enough for your firepower. In the meantime, you want me to go battle against people that are above level 1 and be outclassed and completely outfreshed before I can come back? I had to be embarrassed in order to come back? You would think embarrassment would lead to more unfreshness, but that is not the law of the land, apparently. Anyway, that is pretty much all the shop. Well, that is all the shops. There's one more little area over here I'll show off just for the sake of showing it off. There's the Battle Dojo. In the Battle Dojo, you can play one-on-one -on -one battles against a friend. One player plays on the gamepad while the other plays on the TV. So this one person was asking during the Global Test Fire, can you play on the gamepad? Meh. Yeah. In 1v1. So that's unfortunate. And I'm not going to sit here and do a 1v1 against myself. So, I'll head over to the campaign since that's literally all I can do right now. Let me see, make sure there's no like back alleys or anything I could show off just for the sake of showing it off. But like, there's the amiibo support that I already showed off. And I really think that's all that's left is the campaign area. And for everyone that's like, please just get to the game. Well, I was showing off everything else just for people that want to see it before they actually played it themselves. Now, we've got 40 minutes left. And this is literally all that's left that I can do. There's no one to play with online. Let's talk to this guy. Spike. What's happening, mate? Now, who are you? Not to be harsh, love, but you're looking right moldy at the moment. I can't be dealing with blokes below level 4 on the freshness scale. So maybe go do a bit of battling before you come back, yeah? That was the last thing that I could show off. That was literally it. Now the only thing left... It has to deal with that guy that just peeked his head out of the sewer and jumped right back in. Let me see if he comes back out if I come... How far away do I have to be for him to come out? Literally as soon as you pass the rail, he runs back in. Alright, well, let's enter. Once again, since this is a live stream, uh, I will be referring to the comments section very often. And I want to point out that this is a review copy. I have very limited time. I've only got one hour's worth of gameplay that I can show during a live stream. And then 30 minutes worth of video. I'm specifically showing off all the individual amiibo in their own separate videos. So, you can hang tight for those. But as far as the campaign and all, I'll start showing that off here. Now, at the top, it says, to the boss kettle. That's a little bit of a spoiler, but it's something I am allowed to show. You can see right over there, 
Well, first of all, we got all these different levels with little icons above them, and you can see one of the enemies that are in each section. Over there, there's one that's a silhouette. That's the boss level, and here would be just level one. You go to the next one, level two, next one, level three, and then finally you unlock the last one. Let's come talk to this guy real quick. Captain Cuttlefish. Shoot ink to reveal entrances to the Octarian Lair. You know, Bucko, you remind me of my grand squids. Shoot ink to reveal the... Wait. Oh, okay, it's so warm here, it makes me want to take a nap. Alright, so you can keep talking to him and he'll say more stuff. Let's say... Huh? What? No, I wasn't sleeping. I was just resting my brain. Oh, yeah, let's go with that one. Alright, he's going to keep saying the same stuff, I think. He might say a couple different things, but let's not worry about it. Now, typically... You'd have to shoot it like this so that you can unlock it, but since it's already unlocked and I can't undo the unlock, let's just jump right on it. Now, here's the first level of the campaign. You really don't have to worry about turf wars and all, but basically it plays the same as before, except now the objective is to kill people and move on. You got the Octarians here. Octa Troopers dead ahead. So just attack them, kill them, move on. Now, there are all these little orange orbs that look kind of like Dragon Balls without the stars. That's the first thing I thought of whenever I saw these things. Uh, I'm not really going to get into those too much during this stream, but basically the more you collect, the more you can buy stuff. That only has to deal with the campaign. So... There's some form of currency, I really can't get into it too much, but that's what they're there for. Make sure you collect as many as you can along the way. And then here, it's basically a tutorial for the first world. It basically shows that you can go underground and they can't see you, and then you can pop up and hit people with shields from behind. Now, obviously, you won't have a bunch of shields going on in online, but as far as the campaign goes... The bosses have to have some kind of way of defending themselves or fighting back. You can't just be point and shoot and win easy all the time. So the beginning is pretty simple. Don't overdo it, bucko. Hide behind a wall if you're hurt. So... It's very simple. It's just a giant tutorial stage, and it's going to do this th through the first few levels. They do a very good job at doing things one step at a time and teaching you how to play. And I am playing with the gyro controls. I switched to the right stick to be able to play. I personally really don't like it. I know that's typically the way to play first person and third person shooters. But for this specific game, just the way it's played, I prefer the gyroscope. So play with what you wish. But if I'm bouncing around a little too much and you're wondering why, that's why. So anyway, let me come over here, just shoot all this, and there you go. So launch pad ahoy. After defeating all the enemies in a certain section, you'll unlock the next pass so that you can just move on. So right here, he basically tells you how to do every little thing. Distract him with a bomb. He'll freak out about the bomb that's going behind him. He'll turn to defend himself. Well, he can't defend himself from you at the same time. So that's how you move on. And once again, this is a live stream for those of you watching on YouTube after I've already published it. But for those of you watching on the Twitch live stream, y'all best stop comparing this to Call of Duty. This has nothing in common with Call of Duty except this. You shoot and you kill people. That is it. And don't be like, all right, it's ink instead of bullets, big deal. No. There's turf wars. There's sliding on walls. There's jumping over stuff. There's whole new mechanics that would never exist in Call of Duty. It's not the same at all. You can't just jump to your allies at the push of a button. You can't win just by getting the uh, most turf covered. It, it, it's not the same. It's not the same. And then someone during my last global test fire stream just straight up said, oh, Splatoon is Call of Duty for kids. I will say it again. Call of Duty is Call of Duty for kids. Don't even play with me. Now, I don't know about level 2, honestly. But, let me go ahead and cover all this up.
right here there's a little transparent page. I'll be able to access it during the start menu whenever I access uh, the main menu again after I'm done this level. But basically there are little collectibles in each section that basically tell a story. It's like a bunch of pages to a book. Now they're not too significant as far as I know. I don't know if collecting them all will actually give you something. But for a completionist like me, I'll be getting them all anyway. So as far as the campaign goes, once I actually start recording it, I'll try to get everything in the game. And if necessary, I'll cut and show whatever I missed the first time around and show it later. But I will be getting a hard copy soon enough and I'll be starting at the beginning from scratch. And I'll just show as much as I possibly can throughout the game. And then, of course, on top of all that, Splatter Day. I don't care if anyone hates the name. I like it. It's funny. It's, it's witty, in my opinion. I think it's cool. I think I'm clever. So, I'll show all that off. And then, I'll be playing with you guys online practically day one. But then, I'll make a weekly show out of it on Saturdays. Will I stream it at other times? Will I record videos and upload videos at other times? Most likely. I'm not going to limit myself to Saturdays only. But that's going to be a definite show that you can always look forward to. Definitely. And I'm going to be streaming on Twitch a lot more as well. So if you're not following me on Twitch, make sure you are. Uh, if you're on Twitch already, go ahead and just hit that follow button for me. And then if you're on YouTube and you're not following me on Twitch, just go ahead and check the description. It should be one of the top links. And there you go. Now that I'm done rambling, I'll actually move on. Uh, now we got the arrow just pointing the other way. I'm going to stop covering cur uh, covering turf. There we go. All right, that's it. Eve ho. All right, so the final checkpoint. Hmm, a key. Look for the key. Okay. There's a giant glowing thing of significance up there, so let's look for the key and then get up there. Alright, that's something that we can't cover. I wish it was more obvious which things you can't cover. And at first I was like, alright, you probably just can't cover the metal, but... There you go. So I don't know exactly how you can differentiate which things can be covered and which things can't. I guess it's really just trial and error and then knowing at that point. Like, glass is one thing for sure you cannot cover. I know for a fact you cannot cover glass. So that's an obvious one. But as far as the metal all over the place, that's weird. It's half and half. Even the wood is half and half. Alright, but anyway, make your way for the vault. There's an arrow just telling you where to go. No big deal. Excuse you. Excuse you. And excuse you. Thank you, thank you. Now let's move on. And then zap fish off the port bow. Bust in and grab it. Break the little force field. Touch him. That's the end of level one. And by the way, that screen that you just saw look out for those thumbnails whenever the game comes out because that's basically what the thumbnails are going to look like whenever i upload them on youtube so keep an eye out for those if you don't see my name all the time and you typically just see the thumbnails for videos whenever you're on youtube or whatever keep an eye out for those because that's basically what i'm basing all my thumbnails off of all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and show off level two and i've still got about 30 minutes to go and I'll show off what I've already got in a uh, world one completed and then I'm going to save boss kettle. You know what? Never mind. I'm going to go ahead and show off the second world, even though I have no idea what's going on in it. I already know what's going on in the first world, but world two can't be too much more tutorial. Yeah, just for you guys, since I've got a little bit of extra time, I really didn't think I'd be breezing through it this fast, but at the same time, I didn't get online, so that could be a problem, but as far as going through the shops, I honestly thought it would take a little longer for me to go through it. I even took my time with it. 
I'm trying not to rush it and show too much of the game. Because I'm in World 1 right now. Think of this as kind of... It's kind of like Mario Brothers. So think of the original Mario Brothers. You got World 1, Level 1, 2, 3, and 4. And obviously they got more Mario games. And obviously they go way past levels 3 and 4. Or a boss level or whatever. But as far as World 1 is concerned, that's all it is. It's just four levels. So that's what I'm comparing it to. Think of it as the first Super Mario Brothers. You got three levels and then a boss level in World 1. I'm going to go ahead and show off part of World 2, if not the whole world. It depends on how long it takes me to go through it. But I'll say this much. I can't show after World... I'll say X. And I'm saying that as like a filler for a numeral. There's not literally a world called World X that I've got to worry about. I just can't show out there a certain world, and I can't talk about that one certain world. So, not going to talk about it. But anyway, that little robot thing right there will actually eat your paint whenever he sees it, and he can't die. Let me come back here and actually show that. He can't die. He just kind of stands still and doesn't move as fast. So shoot up the ink as much as you can, climb up the wall, move on. That's a bit of a little tutorial section. And once again, you definitely cannot ink on glass. So you gotta make your way around. Splatting all these orbs will allow you to pick them up as well as just running over them simply, obviously. And I honestly don't know exactly where the page is for this level. I'll figure it out at some point, but I'm not too worried about it right now. And let's just make our way up here. I don't think you get on the top of that building either. If you can, the page is probably up there, but I've tried and I couldn't climb over the top. I think there's like a rail there that prevents you from climbing up. Now, what about around here? Because it... I wonder if in level 2 they would actually make the page hard to grab. But I honestly have no idea. And once again, uh, the pages do appear in every level. And I'll go ahead and show that off whenever I exit this level. I'm going to just come over and grab this armor. Also, this little robot cleaning thing, it doesn't hurt you. So, don't worry about that. It just eats your ink, so it makes it a little harder to progress. Aside from that... Not too much to worry about. I seriously have no idea where this page is. Now, uh, back to the chat. Let's see. Uh, someone's saying, blah, blah, please. There's ranked battle on your review copy. Uh, the review copy is literally the entire game. So, I don't have the hard copy right now. But, everything on the hard copy is on this game. The only difference between the review copy and the hard copy is the online servers. You can only connect to people that had the review copy. And then once the full game comes out, the review copy's online servers just completely shut off. So, to answer any possible questions, I've got everything to show in this game. The problem with ranked battle, though, is that you have to be level 12, 12, level 10 to even access it, and I'm only level one. So, I had to level up all the way to level 10 in normal battles, and unfortunately, I just showed off earlier that you may not have been here. I showed off the normal battle lobby, and I tried joining a room. There were only four people there, including me. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to level up right now, and I won't be able to show off rank. But definitely expect some rank battle videos whenever the full game comes out. With and or without friends. I don't know exactly how I'm going to be running all that now. I don't have the hard copy of the game yet. And I don't know what everybody else's plans are with the game. But I definitely will do as much coverage of the game as possible. In addition to just playing with you guys generically. Now. If you're an expert. Or if you have a better gun that you've unlocked. You can skip that whole section over there. I was desperately looking for that page, all right? I just kept shooting up the wall, and I looked at this, this as a challenge. All right, the little robot wants to keep eating the wall, so let me keep spraying my way up and work my way up, but you can do that. 
It's not the intended way, though. This is the final checkpoint. Whenever you come this way, hold ZL, you're stuck in a cannon. Let go, you get out. But when you're in here, that. And look, they got little question marks and exclamation points above their head. They're like, huh? Huh? What? Okay. Okay. Like, they're panicking. They're freaking out. This is really all you got to do is ink up the whole wall. And while he's distracted, hurry up, run over there. Distract him again. Or, never mind. He's already so distracted, I didn't have to worry about anything. All right, but there we go. Just climb the way up, and if you miss any spots... Bada boom, bada bing. It's really easy to get through. Now, please don't hit me. Okay, don't want to die. Don't want to die. That'd be embarrassing. These are the tutorial stages. Don't want to die here. I'll admit, I actually died on level one because I was trying out the right stick, but I could not get used to it. I really couldn't. Now, before I hit him, where's that page? I have no idea. You guys may not be so concerned. Some of you actually might be, but... I'm a completionist. I like collecting everything even if they don't do anything. I'm the guy who LP Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D and collected all the Kong letters and puzzle pieces even though I just had to get the Kong letters. Not many people even care about the puzzle pieces, but I got all of them. Alright, but I have no idea where that page is, so I apologize for anybody that's looking for them. But anyway, let's move on. I got about 20 minutes. I'll go ahead and show off the last level over here and then the boss level. And then I might have time for one or two of the uh, second world. Uh, someone's asking where I got the review copy. Basically, I was approached for it. I didn't ask for it. I didn't apply. I didn't question anybody I didn't have connections I was just randomly approached and I am eternally grateful not really gonna share contact information because of privacy but just know that it was offered to me and I accepted the offer and all I had to do was show off gameplay and that's literally it like they expect me to show off gameplay and that's literally all it is to it whether or not I say anything good or bad is completely up to me. It's a review copy. And even though I'm not a reviewer, just typical gameplay and giving my thoughts and explanations on stuff in the game, that's totally fine. Let's play style videos and just generic gameplay videos, completely a-okay. Oh, no, why did I? That's the first time I've ever messed up that jump. Even when I first started playing the game. That is the first time I've ever messed up that kind of jump. Alright, I saw him splatting up there, so I was afraid of climbing right up. There we go, okay. That's it, Heepo. So yeah, Cut and Cut Official randomly just give you hints and... Like, coach you on. He's basically the Doc Lewis of Splatoon. Alright, now here, shoot ink rails with ZR, and then move across them. You actually move across with the analog stick. It's not like whenever you just jump in, you move from one to the next. And I'm sorry if I'm taking a little too long, but I am just trying to basically explain the controls so that you're familiar with them when the game comes out. Because if you're watching this right now, obviously you're interested. So... Let me be. Let me explain everything I want to explain. And if you guys want to see more content, I'll definitely be playing a little bit faster. And by a little bit, I mean a lot faster. I'll be playing a lot faster during the actual campaign mode once the full game comes out. And you can expect that gameplay, I want to say, immediately at launch. So let's say, for example, for me, the game comes out at 11 p.m. Central Time. I will try to get the first episode of the campaign up immediately as the game releases because I should have a hard copy within the week, but I don't have the hard copy right now. 
And I think the reason for that is basically because they want everyone to just keep playing the review copy and we'll get their hard copy right before the game comes out. Anyway, right there, as you probably saw multiple times throughout, like, the global test fire, Nintendo Treehouse and stuff. That was, like, the ultimate. The only difference is now we just collected it along the way rather than randomly unlocking it by killing enemies and stuff. Anyway, with all that said, let's just keep going. And if you got any more comments or questions in the live stream, please let me know because I'd love to have all this feedback and questions answered in the actual video whenever it goes up on YouTube. So, hit me up with those comments and I'll check the chat in about 30 seconds once the delay catches up. Till then, I gotta focus on these guys because they got their eyes on me. <laughs> And I love how in an interview, they revealed that originally, like, they referred to the characters as, like, tofu. They literally just had blocks of nothing, shooting ink. And that those were the playable characters in the original, just, alpha version of the game when they first started making it. I guess at that point it wouldn't even be an alpha, it would just be development. But... Eventually, they changed characters, and they wanted to do something like a bunny. They had so many different options, and a squid was one of them, but they decided to go with a bunny. And they can't really give you a rational answer on why they chose a bunny. But a bunny was one of the first options. They had concept art and everything. It was all set to go. But I'm really glad that they went with squids in the long run, because squids, ink, it makes sense. And above all else, you've got squids, and then the rivals are based on octopi. So, it's awesome. I'm glad they ended up doing it the way they did. And it's such a simple concept. And to think that, like, half the people that tested the game right when it came out were like, eh, it's okay, I guess. I wonder how much of a step they took to make it go from... It's okay, I guess, to... Oh my god, so I take so fun. Can't put down roller OP. Ah! Uh, but yeah, okay. Now that I'm done the level... Let's see, can you upgrade your weapon? Uh, I believe I can. Let me go ahead and upgrade gear. Let's see what I've actually got. Alright, so from level 1 to level 2. Increase the rate of fire times 1.2. And then obviously I can... Unlock a bunch of others. Well, let me see. Burst bombs or seek? I don't think we've ever shown seekers at all. Yeah, let me level this up a bit. I haven't even shown this off at all. Let's put this as high as it can go. Alright, I need 800 to level that up again, so I can't do that. Oh, and I can't level up my hero shot anymore. Okay. Uh, ink tank or blast root. I'll go ink tank. Alright, so that's how you upgrade all the stuff that you've got on hand right now. And then you can switch bombs with the D-pad. Um, yes, okay, ga okay. The gamepad was telling me to look at the TV and the TV was just frozen. So, that was weird. But anyway, D-pad, there you go. Switch to the secret bombs. Now, let's show this off, actually, real quick. Alright, wait, did I unlock the boss cut? Oh, I already did unlock the boss cut. I just didn't actually go in. But anyway, alright, let's set this down. And it's very simple, but imagine if you don't have... Is it splatter shot? Like, the sniper rifle, I think it's just... No, that's the regular one. I think that's this. Yeah, whatever the sniper rifle one is that sends it all the way across. It, it Basically, if you don't have that, you can use this. And it's just a general... General... General generic weapon. God, I can't talk. I'm so pressed for time, I'm worried about it. Alright, let's see. What are the comments, questions, or concerns do we have before I jump into the boss level?
Let's see, do you think this is releasing as a partially finished game? I mean, I'm a big fan, but so much content is coming as DLC. Unfortunately, I have to agree that this is being released as an unfinished game, and you don't even have to look at DLC. You can look at the fact that there's going to be a patch that allows you to make lobbies with friends. That right there shows you that it's not a finished game. So, that's unfortunate. Uh, let's see. Can you play online with the review copy? Yes, I can play online with the review copy, but it depends on how many other people are online able to play with me. So, if I can't get a full room, I can't play. Alright, so this is actually the first time I'm doing the boss kettle mission, so let's see how this goes. Why does he remind me of some kind of Spongebob video game kind of boss? Alright, so, alright. This is pretty simple. He face planted, you come up, shoot him in the tentacle, make it explode, I guess? Oh, and you automatically get bounced off. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't me. I just got bounced off automatically. And I'm sure it's like, oh wait, a checkpoint? Seriously? Now is he going to roll again? What's going on here? No? What's with the legs? What the heck? Oh, wait, what? This is weird. This is actually the first time I'm doing this. What even? Okay, oh, that was just him standing up. Oh. Okay, never mind. I thought I, I was way overanalyzing that. All right, so let's just climb up the wall. Got to go at a different angle. Please let me get up. You jerk. Oh, this side's flat. Let me. Oh no, there's ink. Okay. All right, face plant. There we go. Come on, let me up. Let me up. That is no time. What the heck? Do I need to throw? Oh wait, let me try the seeker. It, oh, excuse you. Oh, and my ink's filling up kind of fast. All right, but come on. Come in face plant. Those legs, though, that's so weird. Does that work? No. Oh, it hits the wall. That sucks. All right, so you just got to be really fast with this. I was trying to come up with any kind of gimmick or strategy like that would work, but really it's just... Blast and go. There's no strategy to it. Alright, so that side's like that, but what about the other side? Can you please just ground? There you go. Alright, so both sides are like that. Uh, okay, what? Excuse you? Alright, so I already have to have it inked, I guess. Come on, come on. No, no. This is too fast. Too fast. All right, come on. Stop doing that. Ow. I actually died against the first boss. And I also forgot to show off the scrolls. Thank you, someone in the comments, for reminding me of that again. Even though I said it myself like three times, I'm so uncomfortable. Okay. All right, let's just fill up the whole thing and see if that works any wonders for me. All right, so I guess at this point he really just has a consistent like fake out moment. Go! No! 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 There you go. Now is it a three hit KO like most? Nintendo bosses, or is it four or more? What's going on? Epic explosion and oh, those legs. Okay. Okay, hold up. N n look away from the glow for a second. Hold up. Okay, hold up. I'm putting the controller down for a minute. Hold up. So, there's a review copy, right? Let me review real quick. 
there was a giant octopus monster in a box with legs and those legs just made a helicopter motion and then was eagle spread at the end Nintendo I love you and all this is a great game but why don't you just slap Rule 34 on every product related to Splatoon? I mean, for real, bruh, this, no, stop, stop, Nintendo, you can't do this. I know I'm the one making the comment, but you, wait, page, ah, okay, you get the page just from winning and walking up to it. So, so far, I found three of the four very easily. Squish, squash, smash. <gasps> Squish, squash, smash? Splatoon and smash confirm? Alright, let's see. Avast, they have the great octo weapons on their side. At any rate, good work, Agent 3. Oh, that's something I really didn't get to mention because the story wasn't really explained at the beginning. But... He designates you with the name Agent 3, and then he just silently to himself says something about Agents 1 and 2 just quitting or getting bored or not wanting to do it. They never even supposedly got to level 1. Because they just didn't want to do it. Like, that that's the story behind this. And then you as Agent 3 are the only one that is actually putting up with him and doing his bidding. Half the town folk think he's crazy. So, Captain Cuttlefish, cool character. I like him. I like all the characters in this game. All right, keep it up. It's a long road to the great Zapfish. But all right. Doing that. Cut off all the power, and now the gate is open to head to the next area. 